Hello everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Pathshala. This is Norris. Today I will discuss this problem which came in CHR UGC net December 2023 in part C. Let's see the question. Consider the following initial value problem y dash equal to y plus half mod sin y square for x greater than 0 and initial condition is y0 equal to minus 1. So we have to find which of the following statements are true. Okay, here it is given that y dash equal to y plus half mod sin y square. So it can be written as y dash minus y equal to half mod sin y square. Now what do we know that mod sin y square is less than equal to 1 greater than equal to 0. So from this what we can write that 0 less than equal to y dash minus y less than equal to half because because sin mod y square is less than equal to 1 so there is half mod sin y square so it will be less than equal to half. Now see now see for the differential equation y dash minus y equal to 0 the integrating factor is e to the power minus integration over dx so minus integration dx so it will get e to the power minus x now e to the power minus x is greater than 0 for all x so we can multiply this in for every size so what we get we get we get 0 less than equal to y dash e to the power minus x minus y e to the power minus x less than equal to e to the power minus x by 2 so it can be written as 0 less than equal to d dx of y e to the power minus x less than equal to e to the power minus x by 2. Now what we know that we know that if 0 less than equal to fx less than equal to zx for all x greater than 0 it can be written as 0 less than equal to integration over 0 to x fx dx less than equal to integration over 0 to x gx dx ok now here this this inequality true for this inequality true for all x greater than 0 so we can use this theorem so what we get c we will get 0 less than equal to integration over 0 to x d of y to the power minus x less than equal to 0 to x integration over 0 to x e to the power minus x by 2 dx so basically what we get 0 less than equal to 0 to x integration over 0 to f d y to the power minus x less than equal to half 0 to x e to the power minus x dx so doing integration what we get 0 less than equal to y x e to the power minus x limit 0 from 0 to x less than equal to minus half e to the power minus x 0 to x so putting this limit what we get 0 y x e to the power minus x minus y 0 e to the power 0 means 1 here we will get half e to the power minus x minus e to the power 0 means 1 so what we know that y 0 equal to minus 1 so here we will get 0 less than equal to y x e to the power minus x minus y 0 means minus minus plus 1 less than equal to minus e to the power minus x by 2 plus half now we will subtract 1 so what we get minus 1 less than equal to y x e to the power minus x less than equal to e to the power minus e to the power minus x by 2 minus half now we multiply by e to the power x in every side I, since e to the power x is greater than 0 for all x so the in, we can multiply this term in every side what we get minus e to the power x less than equal to y x less than equal to minus half less than equal to e to the power x by 2 so basically what we get we get e to the power x less than equal to y x less than equal to minus 
e to the minus e to the power x plus 1 by 2 so y x is bounded by these two function ok now see basically what we get e to the minus e to the power x less than equal to y x less than equal to minus e to the power x plus 1 by 2 now see as x tends to infinity it is going to minus infinity x tends to infinity my it is going to minus infinity so by sandwich theorem this also going to minus infinity okay so if i draw this curve this is x axis this is y axis and y0 is minus 1 y0 is minus 1 this is minus 1 if i draw this curve this curve as x tends to infinity it will going to minus infinity so it is decreases like this okay and for this curve as x tends to minus infinity it will also going to minus infinity look like this this one is e to the minus e to the power x and this one is minus e to the power x plus 1 by 2 now y x is either this curve or this curve or in between these two curve where it is less than it is greater than this curve and less than this curve so it is look like this it is greater than this curve and it is any any value of x it is greater than of this value e to the power x and less than of this value ok so this is y x so what i can we see that as limit x tends to infinity y x is going to minus infinity so it can be written as limit x tends to infinity mod y x is infinity ok mod y x will be going to infinity so in option one what is said that there exist an alpha belongs to zero to infinity such that open interval zero to infinity such that limit x tends to alpha minus mod y x equal to infinity but what we can see we see that as x tends to infinity mod y x is going to infinity not al so there is there does not exist a alpha belongs to zero to infinity I mean between belong belongs to zero to infinity means alpha is less than infinity greater than zero he, there is exist not such alpha because as x tends to infinity it going to infinity S let's say exist if exists such alpha so x equal to alpha so you can see that y alpha y alpha is less than e to the power alpha plus 1 by 2 and greater than minus e to the power alpha since alpha is finite because alpha is belongs to 0 to infinity so it should be finite so y alpha should be finite because it is bounded by two finite numbers so such alpha does not exist so such alpha does not exist so option one is false option one is false now in option two what is said that y x exists on zero to infinity and it is monotone you can see that y x is bounded by these two curve this is monotone decreasing this is also monotone decreasing and y x is going to infinity minus infinity as x tends to in my access to infinity so y x is also monotone decreasing so y x is monotone so option 2 is true y x exists and it is monotone in option 3 what is say that y x exists on 0 to infinity but not bounded below what we can see that y x is going to minus infinity as x tends to infinity so it is not bounded below because it is going to minus infinity as x tends to infinity so it is true it is not bounded below so option 3 is true in option 4 what is said that y x exists on 0 to infinity but not bounded above so you can see that y x is always negative because it is greater than equal to e to the power minus x and less than equal to minus e to the power x plus 1 by 2 because y x is less greater than equal to minus e to the power x and less than equal to minus e to the power x plus 1 by 2 so y x is always negative so it is always less than 0 for all x greater than 0 ok so y x is less than 0 so it is you can see that this is bounded above so in option 4 what is said that it is not bounded above so option 4 is false thank you for watching this video thank you very much